Hi, I'm Zach with Josh's Frogs. Amphibians are known for their sensitivity to water conditions. Um, in captivity, we provide um, water to our pets in three different modes, um, by misting, via water bowls, or via water features, such as ponds or waterfalls in their tank. Today, we're gonna talk about the three different modes of offering water to your amphibians and how to ensure that water is safe for them to use. For the sake of this video, we'll define water features as ponds, pools, and waterfalls. This would include a fully aquatic setup as it required by aquatic species such as oxalotls or clawed frogs. Depending on water volume, filtration, and animal stocking rates, water provided in these sources will need to be changed on a regular basis. If tap water is mild, not super hard or soft, not full of heavy minerals or other contaminants, a simple water dechlorinator such as Josh's Frog's dechlorinator may be all that is needed to render this water safe for use. Simply add two drops per gallon of water and then let it sit out until the water has reached room temperature. Change water frequently. A very broad rule of thumb is to change 25 to 50 percent of the water every one to two weeks. This may vary quite a bit and be lessened if heavy filtration or live plants are present. Water bowls. Water bowls should have smooth sides and be easy to clean and disinfect with rept reptisan at least once a week. Water bowls are often become latrines for amphibians and are very dirty, even when they appear clean. As such, change the water in a water bowl daily. Dechlorinated tap water may be an option. Even better, reverse osmosis or distilled water, reconstituted with RORX, ensures the amphibians have access to clean, remineralized water. Reverse osmosis or distilled water should never be used in water bowls alone. Misting. Misting is a great way to increase humidity in a vivarium or terrarium. In a naturalistic setup, misting also serves to move waste down to substrate level where bacteria, fungi, and microfauna can break down. Always mist with distilled or reverse osmosis water. Misting is mimicking rainwater, which is generally pretty pure. After coming in contact with wood, leaves, or other surfaces, it's not pure and perfectly safe for your animals. Misting with tap water, even dechlorinated tap water, will result in clogged nozzles, white mineral deposits on glass, and possibly dead plants. For all your water conditioning and water treatment needs, hop on over to joshesfrogs.com today.